Let's go ahead and take a look at the other mockups that were sent. We'll just jump to the ones with notes. I'm going to go ahead and open up in alphabetical order here, calendar with notes.png. Okay, it looks like the header is the same. We have our logo, our cloud background, and our navigation bar, and the navigation items are identical. I'm going to scroll down just to see if anything at the bottom has changed. No, it looks like the bottom is still the same. We have our login and rocky background here. So the only difference here is the content on the page. We have the title that says tour calendar, a short description below is a list of upcoming tours that gives us an indication of what this data actually is. And so I'm going to assume that the data that we see in this table is synonymous with the data that we got in our events.txt file inside of our data folder in the resource pack we got sent. So let's go ahead and look at this column by column. Here in this first column, it says jump for joy, benefit Zimbabwe. That sounds like it's probably an event name and it's got a link and there's a red arrow here that says goes to tour page. So this indicates to me that each one of these events are going to have their own page. There's the dates column and it looks like some of the events are multiple days and some of them are single days. And there's a comment here that says don't show old tours order by date. This says to me that if a tour has already happened like say last week it shouldn't display in this list anymore. Also, it's important to the client that this is ordered by date. So chances are this means that the tours that are going to be coming up soonest show at the top of this list. And then we have a tour type listing. It says base jumping, and it's got a link, but there's no real indication as to where that should go. So we'll just file this away as maybe an ambiguous item. Guide, Phil Terry here, it's linked, and we have an indication that it goes to the guide page. So that means that each one of these guides are going to have their own page as well. And then Zimbabwe, this says it goes to a list of all content matching Zimbabwe. Okay, interesting. Again, besides this main content, nothing else has changed on this page. So let's go ahead and take a look at another mockup. I'm going to go ahead and open up contact us with notes.png. Okay, this is our contact us page. I'm going to scroll down to see the entire image. Okay, it looks like the top and the bottom are the same again. In the contact us form, we have a title, contact us. It says, please fill out the following form to request more information. We have a few inputs, one for name, one for email. There's an experience level, it looks like a select box, and there's a note here that says beginner, intermediate, and advanced as options. So we know what options we should be using for this select box. Then we have the comment box. We have a sign up for newsletter. Now we don't know just from looking at this whether the newsletter is an integrated part of the website or if they have another service that deals with the newsletter. And then we have our submit button. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the final mockup. I'm going to jump back to the mockup folder and I'm going to open up guide profile with notes. Okay, so this is probably the page that displays when a user clicks on that link on the tour calendar page to the guide. And let's see what content it includes. There's a title, which is the name of the guide. It looks like this is the bio that was in the guide data sheet that we have. And then there's specialties. And it looks like there's a list of links here to the specialties. It says links to content that matches these category. And then we have an image here on the right of the guide. And it says need to convert photo to black and white and wrap text around it. So we have the same text wrapping requirement as we had on the home page, but this time we need to make it black and white. So even if the user uploads a color picture, we need to convert it. 